How is it going guys? We are back in the crew. It's been a couple weeks actually. Actually, nope, never mind. It's only been a few days. I actually uh, totally blanked out and forgot that I did uh, I did that LA to New York uh, off-roading tour. I forgot about that. However, it's been about two weeks since I've done a car build on this game. And recently, we finally got the brand new uh, DLC cars. And uh, I got myself... The Aston Martin V12. It's pretty freaking awesome. Now, obviously, it's just uh, I did I, I threw a performance spec on this car. You can see right here, it's a 746. I haven't really did anything else to it though, but um, obviously, like I haven't got, gone for any uh, skills, but that could easily be done over time, right? But I really wanted to just showcase this car to you guys and uh, just the way I designed it. And right now, I'm just in Miami. I have to head over here to. Uh, to upgrade it to the performance spec but this is the way I designed the car and I thought it looked really cool I got a nice mixed carbon uh, red design it looks really nice now the only thing I really dislike is the fact that you can't um, you can't paint your rims right and so I was going for that mate gray look kind of like from uh, Fast and the Furious 6 uh, that um, Owen Shaw's Aston Martin. I was trying to go for that look. However, what I wanted to do was make the rims red because gray and red look so good together. But I totally forgot that you can't color your rims, which uh, was a real bummer actually. <clears throat> I wasn't that happy about that. But uh, it still looks really nice. And wow, this car is so fast. It's actually a really fun car. This is my first time using this car without a uh, full stock and it's uh it's it's pretty great actually it's uh it's a pretty quick car and um i think you guys will like it if you don't have this car yet you definitely should get it it's uh it's one that you guys will definitely like it's really good for racing and uh one thing i really like about it that i'm already noticing right now is how good it can handle it's it's it can handle really good like i mean when you're going like straight, you can't really say, oh, your car handles well, right? Because when you're going straight like I am here, all cars practically handle about the same. You know, you can kind of swerve here and there. But what I mean is I could literally just like take a sharp turn and it's it's good. It's really good. Like right here. Like it's, I'm not sliding all over the place. It's it's on the ground and it's it's good. Like it's fast. It's got a good launch to it and I definitely do like it. And I can, uh, I can see this car being one of the top perf spec cars once you fully, uh, once you fully upgrade it. Like my Skyline, which is pretty much fully upgraded, all platinum, um, feels amazing, right? And this car almost feels as good and it's not even fully upgraded yet. Um, so yeah, this car is definitely worth getting. I hope you guys, if you haven't already, I hope you guys actually, uh, pick it up it's a really good car to get and I think you guys will like it but um that's really all I have to say about this car I want to do a quick review on it because it's a brand new car however there will be a new series actually a few series I will be doing on the crew I got some ideas from you guys which I got to get down to however I couldn't really go on those because I wanted to review this car and I I might review the the, the Viper I'm not sure yet that's a car that uh, I don't know if you guys would want to see just because um, it's been overly used in the Forza series. I mean, it's a car that everyone uses in Forza, especially Forza Horizon. It was the cover car. Um, so I don't really think that's anything new. However, I know this car isn't the newest one. I mean, this car has been around forever, actually. But not many people use it. It's, uh, it's one of those cars that people just kind of overlook for some reason. Mainly because in a lot of video games, it's priced pretty high, right? So you don't really want to... Like, I don't know. What I would say about this car is it's the type of car that it costs a lot of money. And it's sometimes not worth the money that it's worth, if you know what I mean. Compared to the other cars that you get. So that's why there's a lot of people who just don't use this car. Because it's just worth too much and it doesn't offer uh, what they want compared to the others. Because there's lots of other cars that are just as good that uh that costs less you know what i mean but definitely in this game it's one of the top perf spec cars and i would definitely recommend trying it you know what i mean give it a shot upgrade it and who knows yo it might be your favorite car 
But anyways, guys, I know this was a very short video. It wasn't too long. I am head deep in homework, so I couldn't make this forever. But I will be having some more crew videos. Like I said, I got some... Actually, I got a lot of series ready for you guys. So I'm looking forward to doing that once I get around to it, which will be soon. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my review. It was not too in-depth, but it was my review, and this is what I feel about this car. So I hope you guys like it. Please give this video a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh, God. That guy is uh, dead. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment what you think. My question of the day is, do you like this car? And would you buy it in the crew? Let me know. And other than that, guys, that's about it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.